We've been interested for probably 25, 30 years in the possibility of regenerating heart tissue following myocardial damage. Uh, this could either be in uh, children who have congenital heart defects, uh, could be in uh, uh, either children or adults who have uh, uh, cardiotoxicity from chemotherapy or from viral myocarditis, or uh, in uh, older adults who are suffering from uh, heart disease and have myocardial infarction. When we were, when I was first starting my laboratory, I had made a uh, genetic model to try to generate a cardiac cell line, a uh, muscle cell line that would show contractile activity in the petri dish, and we took a fairly naive approach to try to accomplish that, and it worked. And we soon realized that the idea of therapeutically regenerating heart tissue was what's more interesting than making a cell line to, to study transcription factors in vitro. And through fairly uh, uh, naive uh, mouse model approaches, we've identified a couple of pathways which, when uh, expressed in the uh, myocardium of transgenic mice, will show regenerative growth post-injury. With a uh, injury where we actually cause an ischemic region of the myocardium by uh, tying off a coronary artery, uh, within 180 days post-injury, we'll get about 95% functional recovery. And uh, structurally looking at the heart, we'll see a lot of muscle tissue where at seven days post-injury, there was none. Now, now the task is to figure out or to identify a pharmacologic agent which would recapitulate what the genetic ma manipulation is doing.